Ahí. Unplanned video vlog. What? Video vlog. The vlog is a video. Yeah, vlog is a video. What does a vlog stand for? <clears throat> a virtual vlog. A virtual blog. Yeah, because blogs were what first. Is blag? Blag. Blag. Does blog stand for anything? Because that's just a weird name for a journal. Blog. Your blogging. Blogging is like people who journal online. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's just the that's There's just blog. The Maybe it doesn't stand for anything. It just is blog. That's and right. then vlogging is just video blog. Or like I've heard people say vlog, people. Ew. I've heard yeah. when vlogging first became a thing on YouTube. I remember pe some YouTubers saying vlog, like Ew. a virtual log. No. Welcome back to another vlog, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to meet you. If you don't know who I am, I'm Felipe. This is my cutie patootie wife, <laughs> VNA, scooping her eyeballs out with the eyeball scooper. I was gonna flip the camera, but you can already see me in the mirror. I've just been at work. Right now I'm on my lunch break. Um, I'm just kind of, I wouldn't say hanging out at work. Just, it's it's a somewhat slower day for me, so I have time to kind of do what I need to do with time. I'm not like being tasked with a million things at once. So it's been a pretty good day, just chilling. We might get out a bit earlier today, so looking forward to that. She has stuff that she needs to do. So I'm gonna be giving her the car when I go back to work. She's just gonna take the car and then she'll pick me up later. I don't know what she's gonna buy or I know what, I don't know what specifically though. I like, I know what, what's the word with the category, but I don't know what specifically. So you guys will be joining her on that journey. Finally, she gets to get out of the house and, and do something. How's your guys' day going? That's good, that's good. Today was the first day that I was able to go back to sleep. Good for you. I need to take that off my eyebrows. It doesn't matter time. No time. No time. No, no time. time. No time. Skizzy. What do we have for lunch today? I had four eggs scrambled mixed with a little chorizo. Pretty good. I had my, my assortment of fruits as per usual. Grapes. Uh... What's the word? Strawberries, half a banana chopped up, and then, you know, put a little honey on it, honey drizzle, my peanut butter, of course, skippy. Oh, and I had my Greek yogurt, Chobani. Good stuff. I am fulfilled in my tummy. Mm -hmm. Feel good. Drink some water because I forgot to buy apple juice for this week. Unfortunate. Uh, I might just have to stick it out with, with, without the apple juice this week. I don't feel like spending money. Oh, we got our first electric bill this morning. Yay. It was for the month of Feb oh, oh. February. February. Except we were only living here for eight days in February. Because that's when we just moved in. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be about the average that I was told by the housing. For those eight days, we ran up a bill of 125 bucks, Which, honestly, I don't even know how. We're getting naked. She's getting naked. Let's face this way. I don't even know how, honestly, we ran up a bill of 125. I think the way that they charge electric is just different than the U.S. Because the that's an average of like a regular family household in the states. So um, I think they just they just charge things different out here. But that's yeah. why your allowance is so big. Yeah, that's why you you guys, if you have watched previous videos, I've talked about how in utility monthly utility allowance they do give me a large chunk of change and obviously for the month of february i'll be saving a lot as far as that utility bill because it's only 125 versus my like 1800 that i make but we still have yet to receive february's gas bill so kind of put that number together it'll be interesting to see what the total utility bill comes out to we're gonna have to wait until like this uh, March, March's bill, March's, March, that bill of this previous month, because now it's April, 
<laughs> comes around so we can see a full electric bill. I estimate that it'll be around the average of 400, 450, like the housing people told me. But then again, once the March gas bill comes in, we'll have to see what the total utility bill is and then I can kind of organize my finances accordingly. Right now, obviously we're still new to all this, still trying to get adjusted to the new ways of life, but we'll get there. It's I don't see a, it going over 1200. <clears throat> There's no reason why the gas bill should be another 800 bucks. Yeah, but the heat, that's constantly running. Yeah, but we're about to cut off the heat, like, pretty soon here. Because summer's going to be hot and humid. So we're just going to be running the fans, and I'm pretty sure that's more electric. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I don't think it's going to be any more than $1,000 a month. Take good care. If I see a charge of over a hundred dollars, that's your ass. Yeah. You still love me though, so it's okay. Well, I don't know. We have to see when we cross that bridge. Obviously, she makes no money, so. I made money. It just won't <clears throat> yeah. hit my account till like May, June. Okay, well, those eleven dollars from Amazon won't offset what you're about to do. So she makes no money, and I'm doing the. I don't even know what I was going to say with that. Basically, I'm nice, okay? I'm a good husband. I let her buy things. She gets a $500 monthly allowance. <laughs> that hasn't hit yet. No, it has not gone into effect yet. <laughs> but it is true. Yeah, those $500 a month are going to be for really anything. Preferably house stuff. But if there's personal things you want to buy too, I mean, $500 is $500. So you may as well just fucking spend it on what you want. Because, obviously, we need to buy house stuff, but when she wants stuff, I can't just, like, like, she can't buy anything. She doesn't really make money, so, yeah. It is true. The $500 allowance is a thing. Except, I don't know what I'm going to kick it out. <laughs> It'll be a thing at some point. It's because right now, you know, we're still moving in. We're still figuring shit out, so, not yet. I have my carts ready, so, whenever. Yeah, I'm sure you do have your carts ready. Yeah, let's go. I don't know what color I am. I need an eyebrow pencil. And these are the options. I'm gonna go with the darker one because my eyebrows are pretty dark. I'm also at the commissary, so my options are very limited on what I can get. I've been walking up and down the same two aisles this whole time. There's these really fun bright liners, and I'm gonna take the last blue one because I really like that blue. Should have got a basket. Should I get them? <laughs> Alrighty, folks. Items are gathered. I did get myself something a little extra because I've been craving them. And it's only a little itty bitty bag and it was for like 95 cents. Hmm. It's in German. I ended up only spending like a little under $60. I would have gotten more things, but like, it was just gonna be unnecessary things that like I didn't absolutely need. And also, they didn't have like one thing that I needed. I wanna get a powder, like a setting powder, but they didn't have it in the color that I needed. They did have one that was lighter, but it was more like the color of my skin tone and I needed it to be like almost white for it to be like a setting powder. On some of this stuff, I did get like cheaper things rather than spending money on expensive brands because I don't really wear makeup on a daily basis. 
And the makeup that I do wear, even if we go out, still isn't like a full face of makeup because I that's just not what I like to do. 30 to 40 bucks on one product just because it's high end. Even though it would last me a while considering I rarely like use products like that, but because I'm using the makeup for like my TikTok videos on my makeup account, that's a little more creative and I don't want to waste like high-end expensive makeup on that especially when i take all of the makeup off right after i make the video i don't know what time it is i'm recording on my phone and i don't have a car on so it's either barely after one or almost two but regardless they're not going to get out of work until like around three as if they get all the work done i guess i'm gonna go back home and i hate driving home those roads give me so much anxiety. I thought I got anxiety driving in the snow in Alaska. No, because I'm scared I'm going to take a mirror off or somebody else's car. Something, I don't know. Look at what that is on the floor. My AirPod. You guys have been watching us. Oh my god, birds. You know that my AirPods were stolen by the movers. My AirPod Maxes, so like the big headphones, those were stolen. $600 gone. But I've been using my regular AirPods since then. Oh shoot, I gotta open the door. I'm out of breath. I've been using my regular AirPods that I've had since they came out like years ago but i never really used those because i had my maxes so then i had to resort to those when i got my headphones stolen only one of them works properly so the other one the main like microphone on the inside because on the airpod there's like the main microphone that like goes inside your ear and then there's the one that's like on the inside that's like against your ear the main, not microphone, the, the speaker, like where the sound comes out of. The main hole for where the so for where the sound comes out of on one of the AirPods was like blown, just doesn't work. I don't know how that happened, but that just didn't work. So anytime that I would use them, I couldn't ever really hear out of one of them. So they were not the best to use, but it was the only thing that I had. And then the other day I went to go use my AirPods and then I noticed that one of them was missing. So I was like, what the heck, where'd it go? The last time I had used it when we went to the gym, but normally right after we finish the, in the gym, like when we're still inside before we get outside to get to the car, I put my AirPods back in the case and then just leave them alone. I don't remember what happened that night, but apparently I didn't put back one of the AirPods back in the, in the case. So then I was in the room, I was searching all over the bed, trying to see if I could find it. Wasn't able to find it and then I just ignored it and didn't bother to think about it again. And then like two days ago, we were gonna go to the commissary. And then when I looked down, I saw my AirPod. And that was a functioning AirPod. That wasn't that wasn't the half broken one. That was the one I needed in order for my AirPods to be functional. Probably should have bought the Maxes while I was there at the commissary right now, but it's okay. He's gonna give me them anyways. Anyways. Haul time. Not too many things. Just what I needed to, you know, do some basic looks. I still don't have any eyeshadow other than this one palette that I have and that can only really make like one or two looks. Here's, here's my dilemma. With my makeup account, I didn't really make it as like a like an account for like glam makeup so like it's not just regular eyeshadow looks that you can do to like go out my account was more like characters and crazy looks and that's the stuff that i don't have i don't have my paints i don't have my crazy palettes that i would use i just don't have any of that supply so the only stuff that i do have is just like regular makeup that you can use to just get glam and have like a nice eyeshadow look so in the meantime, that is what I will have to resort to doing. I also just never have anything else to do in the house other than sleep 
and watch YouTube videos and play my Sudoku. So I just figured I would just get into like regular makeup looks. And also because it would give TikTok time to like push my account out there because I haven't been active on that account since like 2021. And by that point, TikTok is just like throw me out of the algorithm. First up, I bought eyelash curler because like I was mentioning earlier in the video, my other eyelash curler is just like on its last life. I did opt for a cheaper eyelash curler, so I'm a little concerned for my eyelashes. Um, I don't know how this one will work. It's by Maybelline. I mean, it can't be that hard to make a not functioning eyelash curler. So pray for me. I mainly only went for restock on my hairspray for my eyebrows because I ran out like two weeks ago. So we got that. And then I needed lashes because that is one thing I don't have. And that is the one thing that kind of pulls an eyeshadow look together. So when I do eyeshadow and I just have my bare natural lashes, they're not like completely full. So then the look just kind of looks stupid. So we got one style of lashes here. These are a little more full and have some volume to them. And then I also got natural ones, which I would use these all the time for like competition and stuff. So these are definitely a lot more natural, but these were the main ones that I wanted. Eyelash glue, obviously. And then the fun stuff. Oh, I got a restock on black eyeliner because the one that I have, I think I've had since I was in middle school. I mean, it still has eyeliner in it. I can still use it. However, I don't think that is safe for my eyeballs to be using like a six, seven year old eyeliner on my face. I got a white eyeliner to make your eyeballs pop. We can do something fun with that. And then like I showed you guys earlier, blue eyeliner. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't know if it's as blue as this box is. I hope so. I wanted to get more colors, but I was, I was scared of how much that was gonna be. And I didn't wanna go over the $100, but I definitely could have because I was only at like 50, almost 60 bucks. Now that is a ripoff. Tell me why this big old thing is literally just the cap. This is the product. Ridiculous. Let's make sure this isn't like dried out or something. I don't hear anything jiggling in there. <sighs> wow. Oh, they're a little thick. Actually, I don't mind that. Mm. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Subscribe! Oh, two more things. I bought a contour stick. I had a higher end product on my mind that I wanted to get, especially because there was a Sephora sale coming up. So I was like adding stuff to my cart of like things that I've been wanting that are higher end and a contour stick was one of them. I will not be using this contour stick when I go out. Literally only gonna be for the makeup videos that I make on TikTok. This is contour stick. We'll see how it works. It's by Wet n Wild, which is like on the cheaper side. It's like almost like Elf. Last product, NYX eyebrow pencil. Also not using an eyebrow pencil for anything other than my videos. Now this, I'm curious to see how it looks on my eyebrows because this was the one that I wasn't sure, like color wise, what I was. Yeah, this is good. Ooh, it's actually really thin that you can make like hair-like strokes. And the total came out to 54.90. I really should have gotten so many more things. Thanks for coming to my haul. Um, I'm gonna do dishes. I totally just noticed that in, in the clip where I was writing the eyeliner on my hand and telling you guys to subscribe, that I spelled subscribe wrong. I forgot a letter.
I put sub sub where I We are on the way to pick up the hubby. A little bit of sun started shining through. Still a little bit cloudy, at least more towards the mountains. But, oh, I didn't open the gate. Oh, I dropped the keys. It's just like Florida. You have one side that looks like a thunderstorm and then this side is all nice and pretty. <laughs> I'm back, back home for good this time. Work. Guess who's back? Back cooking. Okay, don't, don't do that. <laughs> Work was all right. I didn't turn out to do anything the last, the last couple hours. Or actually, I did, I did do something. I did one thing. Wow. I did one thing. I put labels on nine new products that I ordered two weeks ago. So, I labeled them, put them in their place, and uh, it took all 10 minutes. How'd you, how'd you guys enjoy your time with, with, the, with the missus? Hopefully it was good. Hopefully she didn't say anything bad about me. If not, I'll find out when editing. As you guys know, I have my weird turkey obsession, so I'm gonna snack a little bit. Drink this 30 gram protein vanilla shake thing, Fair Life. I accidentally bought it. I thought that this was, what, how many are in the pack? Like 15? I thought that these were little milk things. So I was gonna use them for my oatmeal, like 30 gram milk. And with the 20 gram, 20 gram protein oatmeal, I was like 50 grams right there in breakfast. But then I found out after the fact, this was just a shake. So I just drink it separately when I get home from work. It tastes good. Fat, quick and easy to drink, so if you find it, I would recommend it. It's not bad at all. You know, guys, I got mad the other night at, like, just the world. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of I Show Speed, aka Speed. Probably not. Our family watches. Okay, well, if you're in <laughs> our age group or under, you probably know about Speed. And if you don't know who Speed is, he's like a 19, 20 year old kid who streams on YouTube and uh, another streaming platform, maybe Twitch. He's super famous in the streaming world and just like social media right now. He has risen to a stupid amount of fame over, right now he has over 23 and a half million subscribers on YouTube. And he's done that in the last like what, two, three years? which is insane. Like props to him, kudos. Like I have nothing but good things to say because you gotta be there. You gotta get to that point somehow, right? Like he knows what he's doing, obviously. But at the same time, I've only ever heard the hype and like seen clips on TikTok. The other night we sat down for dinner and I was like, oh, Speed is live right now on, on YouTube. I've never seen a live. And boy, I was, not, I guess, I guess the proper word is disappointed. I don't want to say disappointed, but like, it made me mad. It's not really disappointed, it was frustrated. Yeah, so I'm not disappointed because obviously I have nothing to say bad about the kid. I, it's just like kind of unfair. <laughs> Cause he is, he sat there on stream playing Fortnite on his phone, just like texting whoever he's texting, like not even paying attention to all his 35,000 people watching the stream at the time. And just like, he was just bullshitting. He was literally just sitting in his room, on his computer, like any normal teenager would. Playing the game, texting your friends, family, girlfriends, whoever. That's what he does. And I just find it, I find it so insane. Yeah, originally we started YouTube to like, you know, show our unique life. You know, we're young, we're married. We're now living in Italy. And stop <laughs> trying to talk to the people. We have a unique life is what I was saying. And also, oh, that's what I was gonna say. I, we, I wanted to be able to share, you know, our life with our family and friends back home so that they can see a little bit more of us than they normally do, which is never. Another reason I started to want to do YouTube is like, I see how much these people are doing, like how much these people are making. 
how much money these YouTubers and influencers and social media people make. And a lot of the times it's off of the dumbest stuff. People make money off of dumb things. Like, not to call Speed stupid and not to say that he doesn't live a hard life because now at this point he's risen to such a level of fame that he's scrutinized on every level. Like, he can get canceled right now. Well, actually, he's the kind of person that can't get canceled. He says some pretty wild shit, but that's besides the point. He's gotten to this level of fame by doing stupid shit in his bedroom. I'm not willing to do crazy shit like he's done, which is almost set his house on fire and like scream like a child all over the place. Like I, I'm, that's it, who his personality is, but it's just like, it's unfair, man. Like, ugh, how, how the stupidest shit goes viral. But then like, you know, I put a lot of effort into putting together our vlogs and like, we try to come up with things to do. We only just started, right? We're a little over a year on YouTube, so it's not like I'm complaining. Plus, our success thus far, I would say, has been a pretty rapid pace. I, I wouldn't say it's very easy to get to close to 3,000 subscribers in, in a year. I'm grateful for the success we've had so far. I just want a cut of that money. I just want a cut of, cut of it. There's billions and billions of dollars to be made, probably trillions, like way too much money to be made on the internet. And I just want a cut of it, flat out. Like, yeah, I want to share my life with people, but I want a cut of the social media money because it's, it's insane. I did not explain myself well watching this back. I did say I want a cut of it and it sounds greedy, but what I'm trying to say is you watching this can do the same thing we're doing is try to get a cut of that money. It's not hard. It doesn't take talent. It really doesn't. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say about speed. Like this kid's just in his room barking and screaming and being insane. But he makes so much money. And I find it hard to believe that I can't put in 100% effort into these vlogs and, and being you know, a genuine person to you guys and showing sharing our life with you and like you know, being a real couple, we're starting to, I don't know, I wouldn't say, we're gathering a group of people that are PCSing and they're starting to come to us or her for questions. Like if that's the role that we're gonna be able to play going forward for other younger couples, people who ask her about marriage advice, people who ask about PCSing advice and I can input on that because I'm in the military, like, if that's the role that we can play for the following generations behind us and have a platform on it, like, yeah, yeah, I want to monetize that kind of stuff because why not? Like, this is the world we live in now, guys. Get money how you can. While our intentions are genuine, we want to, you know, show what a military life is like and we want to show you guys what a weirdo little couple is like. We want to show who we are because we're talented people and and we're funny and interesting, I think. I'm just, I just, there's so much money to be made and I want it. Don't get it wrong though. I am satisfied with my life. We did not have to do this YouTube thing at all. Yeah, maybe I'm chasing the bag a little bit, but to be honest, I could Who fuck. Who doesn't? I mean, yeah, I, that's what we're all doing at the end of the day, right? We're all trying to make our money somehow, but again... I could fuck off this YouTube and social media thing right now. Like I could cut this off right now. I don't want to do this. I can live perfectly fine off the military. Believe me, I'm content. But if there's money to be made, why not? That's all I'm trying to say. I got it. I found exactly what I want to say. I find it hard to believe that speed, regardless of intelligence, what does he have over me? that he can make it that big and I can't. If he can do it, why not me or why not her? That's all I'm trying to say. They do, these people do insane things, but what really do they have over me? Just cause he barks a lot and screams and acts crazy? Is that, is that really what it takes to be a famous person these days? Like. That's my frustration. I can't get a cut of that. 
That's what I find hard to believe. That's what it is. I finally got it. Yeah, that's that's what I was trying to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel good now. I feel better. Okay. I have things that I want to do outside of YouTube and stuff, but like, I need I need more of a Kickstarter financially. That's not the Air Force to to do what I want to do. I kind of I want to build that kind of generational wealth. I want to build an empire of shit, but I can't do that. <laughs> Just off military money and i'm not gonna wait i'm just not gonna wait 20 years down the line when i get to retire and i still probably won't be able to do it then all this to say guys i'm inspired and i hope that you guys are too because i know that not only just for us i mean we're young we're not even supposed to be in a good financially awesome place right now no 21 22 year old is supposed to be in a great place but we are inspired we are working hard at it and we hope to get there one day and i hope that you guys are too we should all just be inspired and motivated together because a free life is ultimately what we all want is it not do you want to be stuck at your nine to five forever do you want to be stuck struggling paycheck to paycheck or having to worry about you know balancing everything all at once i don't think so but that's enough of a inspiration hour that's gonna do it for this one guys we're just gonna i need to edit this video directly after we're done recording this and we're gonna relax i'm ready to just kind of sit around chill edit hang out with my wife you go fuck off and live your life too and go make some money if you haven't already hit the subscribe button Turn on your post notifications, hit the like button, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay. Ciao. Goodbye. Bye. Have a nice life.